Oh, hey, fellow scientists. Uh, Mia taught me how to dance the Macarena last weekend. I learned the motions easily enough, but what I don't understand is how my body moves. I mean, I can see how Mia's gears spin to turn her arms. What makes my arms turn? Hmm. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to explain the functions and key components of the muscular and skeletal systems. You'll also be able to describe how these body systems work together to enable movement. Let's get into it. So far in our time together, we've learned a lot about the structures of the universe. We know that atoms make up all matter, which includes cells, the building blocks of life. Cells join forces to create tissues, which combine to create organs. Organs work together to form body systems, which add up to a whole multicellular organism. But how exactly do individual body systems work to build complex humans that can do things like juggle, play the slide trombone, or write poetry. To understand this, let's dive into one of the most fundamental body systems that gives us our structure and strength, the skeletal system. Think of your body like a building. Just like how a building needs a strong frame to hold it up, your body needs a sturdy structure too. That's what your skeletal system is for your body. It provides the structure that keeps you upright and it protects your internal organs. The skeletal system is made of three main parts. The bones, joints, and cartilage. Bones are the part you're probably the most familiar with. They're the rigid tissue that make up your skeleton, like the kind you may see as decoration around October. Except, instead of plastic, your bones are mainly made up of protein and calcium. That's why eating calcium-rich foods, like spinach, is good for your bone health. Joints are the places where two or more bones meet, like at your knees or elbows. Joints allow your skeleton to pivot and turn, rather than just stay stiff and straight. To cushion those joints and keep your bones moving smoothly, you have cartilage which is a soft, rubbery material that coats the ends of your bones. Cartilage is a versatile tissue that also makes up parts of your body that don't have bones, like your nose and ears. Take a moment to observe your hand. If you can, give your fingers a good wiggle. You see the bones at work? Just one hand has 27 individual bones in it. And that's just one small part of your body. How many bones do you think make up a whole human skeleton? Well, the answer actually kind of depends. You have fewer bones in your body now than you did when you were born. Newborn babies have about 300 bones in their body, but by the time they're finished growing, they'll only have 206. So where do those extra bones go? Well, nowhere. Uh, babies are born with some of their bones split into pieces that fuse or join as they grow. For example, a baby's skull begins as six separate pieces that fuse together as they get older. This gives their big brains plenty of room to grow. So, the skeletal system has a pretty important job. It provides structure to our bodies and protection for our softer parts, like our brains and hearts. But... I'll tell you a secret. By themselves, bones, joints, and cartilage can't do a whole lot. What body system do you think allows us to put our bones into motion? If you said the muscular system, you're absolutely correct. <sighs> Don't mind me just mm, stretching my muscles. The muscular system, which is made up of all the muscles of the body, is what put our bones into motion. 
Muscles moving my skeleton are what allow me to do cool things like dance the Macarena, play soccer, and unicycle across a tightrope. Uh, well, maybe someday. But muscles are important for a lot more than just athletic activities. Sitting up, blinking your eyes, and even smiling all require the use of muscles. But what even is a muscle? Muscles are actually a type of tissue, which we know are made up of specialized cells. Muscles cause our bodies to move when the muscle tissue contracts and relaxes. You could feel this contracting and relaxing for yourself. If you can, find an item to grasp, like a stress ball or a water bottle. Place your other hand on your forearm. As your fingers move, to grasp the object, you can feel the muscles in your forearm tighten. Your muscles are contracting to make your fingers move. But muscles contracting and relaxing by themselves aren't enough to get our bodies moving. How do you think they're able to move the different parts of our skeletal system? Record your thoughts in your guided notes. Muscle tissue is actually connected to our bones. Strong cord-like fibers called tendons attach the muscle tissue to our bone. Then the muscles contracting and relaxing can pull on our bones, almost like the strings of a puppet. With the teamwork of the muscular and skeletal systems, we could accomplish huge feats of strength and the most intricate shows of dexterity. In fact, these two systems work so closely together that they're often combined and called the musculoskeletal system. Clearly, our muscles allow us to do some really cool things. But did you know we're only in control of some of them? Some muscles are what we call voluntary muscles. These are the ones we can activate on our own. For instance, if I wanted to raise the roof, I could choose to do that. My brain sends a signal to my muscles to make it happen. However, some muscles are involuntary, so we don't have control over them all the time. Can you identify some? Let's freeze. Pause the video if it helps, but stay frozen. While you are doing your very best statue, what parts of your body are still moving? Ugh. Did you notice any? Even when you're not trying to move your body, you have muscles at work. Your heart continues to beat and pump blood through your body. Your stomach continues to digest that snack you ate earlier, or maybe it's even growling for more. Ah, your lungs also breathe without you telling them to. Unless you start to think about it too much. These involuntary muscles continue to operate in the background to keep us alive, so we can focus on more pressing things, like learning sweet dance moves. Ah, oh, but now I really can't stop thinking about how I'm breathing. Ugh. Oh. Please help distract me by reviewing everything we've learned today. The skeletal system is made up of our bones, joints, and cartilage. It provides support and protection to our bodies. Our muscular system is made up of all the muscle tissue in our body. Muscles contract and relax to cause motion. Together, the musculoskeletal system allows our bodies to move. To learn more about the musculoskeletal system, be sure to check out the practice questions and activities that go with this lesson. Now that I understand how my body moves, my dance routine just got a lot more fun. I think me is going to teach me the mambo next. Remember, scientists, curiosity is the architect of discovery. See you next time.